Now we're joined by our special guest, Max Lockover. Max, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. So you're a member of Sweet Tooth. Could you tell us a little bit more about your organization? Sure, Sweet Tooth Animation is Emerson's premier animation club uh, every year. Uh, and uh, end of the spring semester, we finish up a short film. Uh, it's a collaborative effort and all comers are welcome. Word on the street is that you're currently working on a multi-animator segment for a music video. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, absolutely. So uh, a multi-animator segment or multi-animator project is a project in which you pick a short film or a music, uh, a song, and then you assign different segments of the song to different animators, and they all interpret the song and what it means, and they animate something based on the music, and then they pass it on to the next person, and they pick up where the last animator left off. So it sounds like it could get a little bit tricky, kind of. How do you all decide to collaborate and collectively make kind of one finished product? Uh, it, it's very difficult, but we, we usually reach out to people, to all the members of the club, and we say, how much time do you want to animate? Uh, and people will pitch in, uh, and they'll pick shorter or longer segments. A and then we just, for a multi-animator project, we just let them go ahead and animate in their off time. We'll also have little segments uh, where we come into the studio and just animate for a while. Uh, and that's usually how we get it done. Nice. And you said that everyone kind of pitches in. How does everyone play a role in this project? Uh, well, usually we'll have people sign up for things like background art or color or sketch animation. But for this, uh, everyone's just picking their own segment of the music video and animating uh, as much or as little as they want, as detailed or as simplistic as they like. It's totally up to them. And kind of going off of that, looking at some of your previous projects, it seems like it takes a lot of time and effort. How are people balancing that while also being a student here at Emerson? Uh, it takes, you're right, it takes a ton of dedication, but what really helps is that we welcome all, all skill levels um, and as much time as you want to put in, you can. There's no requirement. Um, if you have no understanding or concept of animation, you can come in. We host tutorials for people who have never done animation before to help familiarize them. Uh, and basically just letting people do whatever they want uh, and adapt to their own personal schedule really lets us have as many people as possible pitch in on the project. I'm sure that's very helpful too, especially as Emerson students, we take on so much. And now moving back to your newest project, when and where should we expect to see it? Uh, so you should expect to see it on the Sweet Tooth Animation YouTube channel by the end of the spring semester. Well, Max, thank you so much for filling us in a little bit about Sweet Tooth. I know we're all going to be so excited to see that. Absolutely. Well, we're in luck. We actually have the opportunity to watch some of their work. Let's go take a look. mesmerizing what's your favorite color pink oh come on I'm not kidding you're so beautiful it's so beautiful here it's it's so beautiful it almost hurts you 
you're so lucky. But you're beautiful too. Color is nothing without the absence of color. Sometimes, all the color makes me feel small. There's no escape. It's overpowering. It's painful. It's nothing without its opposite. Without you, you're mesmerizing yourself. Let me take you to my world. I was hoping you'd say that. Ending. It's me <laughs> every time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and it's really cool to see how all the different styles, obviously it's a collaborative project, and how all of those just come together so seamlessly. Oh yeah, we have so many talented students here at Emerson. Wow. Can Thanks definitely right. tell. Super excited to see what comes next. And thank you so much again, Max, for joining us. Thank, thank you, Max. you for having me.